The Twinkie has become much like me. It's older, it's grayer, and it's more flaky. In the chemistry class, we happened to be discussing food additives and food preservatives, and one of my students just happened to ask me, well, how long would a Twinkie last? And my response was, I don't know. And I said, well, let's do an experiment. So I gave the student a couple of dollars, asked the student to go down to Marilyn Hinckley's and pick up a package of Twinkies. We eat that, and it lasts this long. I mean, what's in it that makes it keep its shape after 45 years? It's a little frightening. I can remember at one point in time, someone said, well, maybe I should eat the Twinkie because it's only been there a few days and, uh, you know, it's probably still good. Uh, and then I remember just kind of forgetting about the Twinkie. It just became a part of the classroom. There's no sharp cutoff to where you stop learning about something. And this is a wonderful example of a long-term, ongoing science experiment. become more brittle so you could no longer take it you know you wouldn't want to whack it on a table because you probably shatter the Twinkie so it's become more it's more fragile because it's desiccated it's lost a great deal of its moisture for me the most important thing is that science is ongoing you know just because you leave high school doesn't mean your project is is done uh, science is forever. <laughs>